Framingham, een voorstad van Boston aan de oostkust van Amerika. In het huis van Mary en Bernie Kane druppelen langzaam de gasten binnen. Niet voor een verjaardag of een avondje kaarten, maar voor een viering, een huismis. De voorganger is een getrouwde priester. Why did we decide to? Well, I guess because for a long time we have been rebelling somewhat against the Catholic Church as an institution and felt that this was some way in which to develop community of faith among small groups of people. And I feel in my heart that this is the way the Catholic Church has got to go to allow married priests to return to perform their sacred duties as they should. My wife is Sheila. And um, I have not celebrated Mass in 23 years, so tonight is the first. It's a new beginning. Een nieuw begin voor getrouwd priester Paul Brood, mede dankzij Louise Haggett. Zij startte een paar jaar geleden een actie om getrouwde priesters weer terug te brengen in het pastoraat. My mother was in a senior center in Maine, which is my home state, and I was trying to find a priest to visit her and didn't realize there was such a shortage in this country because I live in the Boston Diocese where shortages have been carefully hidden. It inspired me to do some research and I went to the library because this was also the time when the pedophilia cases were beginning to be a little bit more public. So I went to the library and I plugged in the word celibacy and opened a door that changed my life. Louise Hackett vond uiteindelijk een getrouwde priester die haar moeder wilde helpen. Sindsdien verzamelde ze honderden namen van ex-priesters die weer sacramenten willen toedienen, maar dat van de kerk niet mogen omdat ze getrouwd zijn. Dat kunnen ze wel via Rent a Priest, huur een priester. Louise Hackett's uitzendbureau voor getrouwde priesters. I guess I'm doing what Jesus would do, which is to feed the hurtful. I feel the church is not taking care of its people and the money that I would normally be giving the church, I am giving uh, to this vocation. I don't know, I feel I've been called to this mission and that's the reason I'm doing it. I get phone calls and letters from people asking for a priest in their particular community. Uh, and I go to my computer and they'll tell me, you know, where it is they live. Uh, for me, I keep the names by zip code. I have 2,000 married priests in my computer. Uh, although there were 20,000, these are, this is as many as I have on my particular list. Give me a for instance. What are you looking for? Chicago. Chicago. Okay, let's see what we can find here. There he is. Okay, Bernie Henry in Chicago. He's one of many we have in Chicago. So it's like you say, we play. Yes, that's about the size of it. And we're having a really good time. We have bumper stickers that say married priests promote family values. I have another one now that's being printed. It says St. Peter was a married priest too. This is going to be used mostly by married priests, obviously. Um, I have a button that says rent a priest, which a lot of pe I've taken to conventions and people have used a great deal. I wear them a lot. Louise Hackett is vertegenwoordigster in cosmetica artikelen en dat is bij het lanceren van Rent a Priest goed te merken. Er moet een product aan de man gebracht worden. Een paar passages uit de Rent a Priest brochure die doet denken aan een reclamespot. If a Sunday or midweek mass you have been accustomed to attending is no longer available due to shortages in the priesthood, you can call a married priest. If a baptism for your baby cannot be arranged for weeks or months due to scheduling, you can call a married priest. If you are thinking about remarriage and have been turned away by the church, a married priest will make every effort to reach a resolution that would be pastoral as well as faithful to what Christ wishes to represent. In the Catholic Church, practice leads to custom, and custom leads to law. Rent a priest has a list of married priests by zip code for your convenience. Maar het aartsbisdom Boston, waarin Louise Hackett woont, is helemaal niet blij met Rent a Priest. Louise Hackett misleidt mensen en Rent a Priest is hard op weg een secte te worden. 
Dat zegt woordvoerder John Walsh. We have the church given to us as part of divine providence to teach and to maintain discipline and authority within the church. Anybody who goes against that, it seems to me, is well on the way to creating a sect. Perhaps they're in good faith. Uh, perhaps they're in conscience with themselves. But I think we can point out that objectively speaking, this, uh, at least in general terms, is not in union with the Catholic Church. I am going to exercise my baptismal right to the Eucharist, and no one is going to take it away from me. I will never leave the church. I believe in the traditions. I believe in the Blessed Virgin. I believe in the Immaculate Conception. And I believe in Holy Communion and the fact that the Eucharist is the body and blood of Jesus Christ. I will never leave the Catholic Church. Dominic Witzo was gescheiden van zijn eerste vrouw, maar wilde in de kerk hertrouwen met zijn nieuwe vrouw Heather. Dat kon niet in de plaatselijke parochiekerk, want zijn eerste huwelijk was door de kerk niet ongeldig verklaard. En dus belde hij Renter Priest voor een gehuwde priester. Zijn tweede huwelijk werd ingezegend, maar is voor de kerk niet geldig. Uh, we met uh, our father and uh, uh, discussed this with him and the uh, pros and cons of not being married in the church with him and uh, we decided that this was a, a great idea for us so we could have our second marriage uh, with uh, knowing that our faith was going with us. We uh, made our vows in front of our friends and our relatives and in front of God and it was performed by a man who has studied rel religion and has uh, worshipped the Lord along with us and we feel that this is a valid ceremony. And uh, they really, uh, we know it's a valid ceremony. We do love one another. And we, we said our vows in public along with the help of uh, Rent the Priest. And this is the priest who Dominic and Heather trouwde, Ron Hinderlein, here with his vrouw Jean. Seven years ago, he left the priesteramt to go to trouwen. And now is he via Rent the Priest to huur for dopen, begrafenissen and huwelijken. I have, have always loved being a Catholic priest. At, at the same time, the years that I was living as a celibate priest, I was feeling more and more an emptiness in myself that was uh, crying to be answered. And since Jean and I have gotten married, I feel more whole than I've ever felt. I'm sort of trying to listen to the way God's Spirit is calling me or calling us to minister now not waiting for the day when the church formally has a married priesthood. Een van de bezwaren die in Nederland zijn gemaakt tegen Rent the Priest is dat het de priester terugbrengt tot een soort sacramentenboer. De priester komt alleen even langs om een sacrament toe te dienen. What we call forth in people is sort of a responsibility to co-create their wedding ceremony with us. And so it's I find my involvement with people is when I think of seller of sacraments, I think of somebody who is very much uh, sort of a, almost like a vending machine or, a, you know, somebody who's, who's just there without any personal involvement with people. And I think that what we have with people is very opposite of that. Uh. In America zijn volgens Rent a Priest 3000 parochies zonder eigen priester. Volgens Louise Hackett is er sprake van een noodsituatie en doet de kerk niets. It is the bishop and the bishops in union with the Pope in Rome. Who are, the, who are the ones to teach, uh, to, to exercise the rightful authority, to determine when there is an emergency situation, when there is a true need. I'm not acting as my own bishop. I'm just providing the people of God, and I believe that the Canon 213 that gives me that privilege to tell the people of God what I have discovered, and that's all I'm doing. I've spoken to our own canon lawyers with our tribunal and others who, uh, who have just told me very plainly that the canons that they are depending upon uh, as the basis for their, for their claims and their organization simply do not allow the kind of interpretation that, that she and her supporters are claiming. They're not doing their job. Any time uh, that people are being confused or misled, uh, there is some element of danger there. Rent 
Adventenpriest staat nog in de kinderschoenen. Maar met het dalen van de priesterroepingen komen steeds meer parochies in Amerika voor de vraag te staan of men volgt de regels van de kerk of men doet een beroep op een getrouwde priester. Hey, I'm married and I never I don't get a second chance either. You know, I took a vow too when I got married. I think that um, that's just too blatant and that there should be more opportunities and we need priests and if the priests are there to give us the the um, energy that they want to that I think we should welcome them back. I, I just don't think they should they should be able to celebrate the Eucharist. You mean married priests? Yeah, married who priests. Who were priests who are no longer priests. Right. right. But what right. about no longer a priest. if they change the rules and allow Well if the Pope says they can do it, if, if Rome priests. says they can do it, then have no problem with I would have no problem with it. I am looking for a church the perhaps the way Jesus planned it, that didn't turn people away that um, made faith and worship more important than rules and regulations.